we just talked about what a female leader looks like, and look who we have here. This is a prime example right here. Dr. Jen Welter, first female coach in the NFL, and also you hold a degree in, uh, you're actually a PhD, a degree in, in psychology, psychology and yeah. sports psychology as yeah. well. It is so great to have you here. Hey, thanks. It's always good to be here in the AZ. Yeah, exactly. And you are so familiar with that because when the Cardinals signed you on three years ago as the first female coach in the NFL, what was that like and how has your life changed since then? Uh, some of the best times of my life. Uh, have, still have great relationships with all the coaches and players to this day. Um, and Arizona will always have a special place in my heart. It feels like just yesterday every time I'm home. Yeah, and you've been quite busy since three years ago. I mean, you just launched a book. Yeah. You started a camp for girls mm -hmm. called Gridiron Girls, Yeah, right? we wanted to put a little gur in there, gur, right? Yeah, yeah it's G-R-R-R, -R -R, three R's. <laughs> Tell me about this camp. You know, when I grew up, um, I always wanted to play football, but never had the opportunity. Girls didn't play, it wasn't for girls, and so to be able to give that to girls is really special to me. And as I like to say, girls, there is no game that you can't play and no field that you don't belong in. And so it's a lot of confidence through football and giving something that they may not have the opportunity to do otherwise. Because growing up for you, I mean, did you hit a lot of obstacles? Absolutely. Obviously, wanting I, to play football, loving football. Yeah, and it just wasn't a thing for girls and people didn't see it and, and a lot they had a lot of reasons why it wasn't possible. And so if my career was characterized about by anything, it was doing the impossible. And so why not take that right out of the table? And this camp is tomorrow. It goes from city to city all yes. throughout the U.S. Speaking of that camp, I want to bring in Nina. She is a local girl here. Um, you go to uh, local high school here. You actually wanted to play football really bad, but were denied. Why is that? Um, I was told I'm too pretty to play, and I've always had, I've always wanted to play, and they told me I was too pretty to play. Wow. Well, see, it's me. You're exactly what a football player looks like because I'll tell you, it's not uncommon. I used to have people tell me all the time, well, you don't look like a football player. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, so how many girls do you know who play f football? Oh, none? I guess I look like a football player. So yeah. you look just like a football player to me, and we're glad to have you. So what does this camp, you're going to be playing there tomorrow, what does this camp mean for you? Well, I've always had a part of me that wanted to play football, and my brothers play football, mm -hmm. and I wanted to play too. but. Um, I was never really given the chance. So um, now that I've been invited to play this um, on this team, I'm really excited. That is exciting. What would your message be to other girls? Um, girls can do anything that guys can do. Mm -hmm. And we make it look better. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Right? I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. We can do anything they do and put our own style on it. Yeah. And we're so glad to have you. Well, it is great what you're doing with this camp. I love the idea of inspiring young girls that they can do it all. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you, thank you. Nina, good luck to you. Have fun tomorrow. Yeah, thank okay, you. Okay, guys, back to you.